Hello and welcome to Ben's Addiction. If you have any convertible Mercedes or any convertible car and you need to check your uh, hydraulic top pump pressure, there is always two ways. First, to check it with diagnostic tools. And second, if you don't have access to diagnostic tools and or like this R129, the diagnostic tools that is required for this uh, specific model is HHT. You might not have access to this program as it's so old and requires uh, so much equipment. So there is an easier way of checking your pump pressure. This method works if you are unsure of your pump pressure is enough so there is always two variables in checking a pump pressure you might have not enough pump pressure and that's the fault of the pump itself not providing enough pressure and you might have an internal leak so an internal leak is when a hydraulic cylinders is getting the pressure from pump but it actually bypasses the fluid pressure the hydraulic fluid pressure from one port to other port and that e that usually happens when the main seal for the piston is faulty or the cylinder has some scratches deep scratches on it it's very rare to happen but it can actually happen Basically, there can be two things wrong with this pump. First of all, the motor stops working or slows down. Second, the pump itself fails to deliver the uh, enough pressure. So here is the, the tube that picks up the uh, fluid from the bottom of the uh, reservoir. And I can see through it and it looks very clean as you can see over here and then I tried to bleed this uh, pump myself too I thought there might be air pocket inside so I removed these two and yes there was some air inside and I filled it with the uh, fluid but that didn't solve the issue. And so today we are going to check if I have internal leak or a weak hydraulic top pump. So this is pretty easy to check if you have a pump like this. So this is the return line uh, from the block and uh, all the cylinders. And if we separate this to another container, clean and clear uh, container, and check how does the system and how the fluid returns to the new container upon uh, the system getting stuck, let's say uh, the bow uh, arm getting stuck, uh, we can then realize if the fluid is coming back, if the fluid keeps coming back to the container that means we have an internal leak if the if the fluid flow stops at one point or some points that means the pump is not providing enough pressure to the system okay here i have set up uh, another camera here and i'm going to operate the roof trying to open the roof see what happens I also have more than enough fluid in my reservoir ready for uh, the test. Also for this test you need to make sure that your engine is running so you get the full uh, voltage for your pump already. Okay let's operate the roof.
So as you can see in the video, the fluid keeps coming back to the container with the roof stopping in one process. So as I mentioned, if we keep getting back the fluid in the container, that means we have an internal leak or bypass in the system. And the most probable uh, cylinder for this example is the bow cylinder. If the return of the fluid into the container stops at one point, that means the pump has not enough pressure to lift one of the cylinders. So the other way of checking your pump supplying enough pressure to the cylinder is using a clamp, DC clamp meter. This is not a DC clamp meter. This is only a AC clamp meter. So that's why I'm not using this method. If you have a DC clamp meter, which is a bit more expensive than an AC clamp meter, you can check the current that is passing through your uh, positive or negative uh, uh, main power supply to your pump and check it with your pump fuse. Let's say the fuse for my pump is 30 amp. If I get 25 amp or more, uh, my pump is working properly. If I get, let's say, 15 or 10 amp, my pump probably doesn't work properly and doesn't provide enough pressure. You can also use a conventional ammeter to uh, check the current passing through your pump without needing a clamp meter, but that requires you having an ammeter of uh, more than 30 amp and a proper you know, wiring system to do this. So you can also check that with an ammeter too. You also have this option to check your pump pressure using a gauge, but you need to be able to use the right gauge because this pump has about 300 PSI pressure. Uh, so you need to use the right fitting and right uh, gauge as well that you might not have. So this is another way of checking your pump pressure as well. Back to internal leak or bypass situation. If you have this problem, you also have two choices. First, to replace your cylinder if you have this type of cylinder that is punched. And uh, this is uh, coming from my W209, uh, A209. Um, but if you have the other version that is used on R129, you can also repair it if the cylinder itself is not uh, scratched or faulty by replacing the O-rings. Also, if you're trying to diagnose a newer Mercedes-Benz with uh, OBD2 diagnostic tools, you probably don't need to diagnose your pump as you will have lots of information coming from the system and the module of the top. But you will need uh, probably some of these techniques to diagnose for the internal leak or bypass. So guys, this was the four methods of checking your pump pressure and checking your uh, hydraulic system for a internal bypass or internal leak. I hope that this video will be helpful because I couldn't find any material at all on YouTube about the internal leak or internal bypass. Uh, so I hope this video will be helpful and you solve your problem. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.